Assalamu alaikum guys, how are you all doing? Today I'm going to be talking about buying a second hand car in Saudi Arabia. Now this is not a how to video, you know, I'm not going to say how to give them the money, how to put in petrol, no. Just a few things, a few tips that you need to look out for and I'm going to try to make it a step by step process. The first thing you need is a valid driving license. If you don't, check out my other video, how to get a driving license in Saudi Arabia. The second thing is that, you know, please have enough funds. Too many times I've seen people, they buy a car they really, really want or they really, really like. Six months down the line, the car, something's wrong with it, something happens and they don't have enough funds to pay for it. Okay, now that you've established you have all of these things, you are ready to buy a car in Saudi Arabia. Second hand car, that's what I'm talking about. Woo, yeah, woo, yeah. Okay, the first thing you need to do is locate a car, find a car. I recommend the website expatriates.com. I'll put the link down below. Cars on this website are usually from expats such as yourself. That's why I recommend this website because the people that are selling the cars, they speak English and they can give you minute detail if you want to know anything about the car. The second thing you need to do is take the car to a mechanic, okay? Don't talk about price at the start. Take the car to the mechanic and he's going to give it a once over. You can give him 50 reals or whatever just to make sure he does a thorough job. Then take it to get computer tested. This is basically when they put a computer connect it to your car and the history of the car comes up, what's happened to it, if it's had any crashes, if any of the airbags have been deployed, so on and so forth. If the paint is new or anything like that, this will give you a full kind of comprehensive idea about the car. After you have taken it to the mechanic and you've taken it for the computer test, both of which you will have to pay for, not the guy selling it, then you should negotiate a price. Then you have a bit of leverage saying, well, you know, this is what happened or this is what he said, so I need to pay for this or I need to pay for that. Obviously, second-hand car is going to have some type of problem which you are going to have to pay for, so you can negotiate with that. If you have come to a price that you're both happy about, then you're going to take it to an agent. What's an agent? Who's an agent? These agents are basically car agents. They're located all over the city. There's no specific agent per city or per area. They're located everywhere. Ask your mechanic or um, anybody local where the nearest agent is. The agent is going to do two things for you. The first thing the agent is going to do is he's going to transfer the registration of the car from this guy's name to your name. That's the first thing he's going to do. The second thing he is going to do is that he is also going to get you insurance for that year. So he's going to charge you about 2,000 reals for the transfer and for one year of insurance. Another good tip is that make sure that you pay the cash, pay the money in front of the agent because the agent can act as a witness and there's no dodgy dealings, nothing going on. The person might ask you to pay the cash beforehand, but you don't have any proof, there's no witnesses, there's nothing. Make sure you do it at the agent's, in front of the agent. He'll ask you, did you, did you pay? You'll say no. You'll say, okay, pay him. Once you pay him, then you get the keys to your new car. Woohoo! It's not finished yet. What you have to do is you need to wait until your insurance and the registration has been transferred. Then you can go pick these up, pick up your keys, and you are driving away with a brand new second-hand car. Does that make sense? Brand new second-hand? You know what I mean. A piece of advice before you go, make sure that you check out the average prices of the car that you're buying. Chances are, if this guy is selling it for quite a low price, then maybe there's a history with the car, it's been in a crash. Also, if the whole car has had a repainting job, then chances are that it's been a crash as well. So I'm not saying that this is, but that might be a possibility. So just make sure the last thing you want to do is, you know, just dive into buying a car, not checking out anything, not being thorough. You just look at the car, love at first sight, all these tunes go off in the background and you just get crazy excited. And you buy the car, then as soon as you give him the money, he's vanished, he's disappeared, and you're driving down the road and the gearbox falls out or you know you don't have an engine or something like that
Anyway, now that you have your car, drive safe, take care of it. I still remember when I bought my first second hand car. First second hand car. It was really good, I really loved it, and I still do love it. I've been the Scottish guy in Saudi, you've been my audience. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.